Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is I, Althea Hurst, and I am your realtor girl. And today I am your real estate agent friend, and I'm going to be helping you real estate in this real estate world. That didn't make sense, but I am helping you out today, you guys. I am your agent coach. If you're looking for some individual coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching to help dive deep in your business, I'm your girl. I talk about all things real estate, whether you're buying a house, selling a house, or you're an agent looking to expand your business. I am your girl. Make sure that you tune in. Today, I'm talking to my realtors, and I want to talk about preparing your clients, okay? Now, this situation can get, well, not situation, this topic can get a little bit deep because there are a lot of different things that you can prepare your client for. You can prepare them for inspection. You can prepare them for appraisal. You can prepare them for an extended closing. You can prepare them for a rent back. You can prepare them for a low appraisal. You can prepare them for a high appraisal. You could prepare your clients for a lot of different things. But here's the thing. You always want to make sure that you have open communication. And I'm saying this because part of my coaching is also going to be me giving you real life stories of things that I have experienced, all right? So here's a little story. This happened, my client literally just closed maybe five days ago. So this happened a few weeks before closing. We were faced with a low appraisal. And when I say low appraisal, I mean low appraisal. I'm talking $30,000 plus below the list, the ratified contract amount, okay? So we were faced with a low appraisal. However, I had already prepared my client. Not only did I prepare my client, but I also prepared the listing agent. And this is what I mean when I say effective communication and also making sure that you know who you are inside of these transactions and how you run your business. You want to make sure that you are not blindsided by anything. When we went on the contract, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't blindsided and that my client wasn't blindsided, especially because I knew that my clients honestly did not have a lot of cash to secure the deal if the appraisal came in low. So before we even ratified, I made sure I had the conversation with the listing agent to let the listing agent know, hey, I ran the comp. I'm giving your seller the price that they want on paper. We are not paying cash above appraised value, but we are going to be faced with a low appraisal because the highest sold comp in the area is X, Y, Z. All right. Already had that preparation done. My client was prepared. The listing agent was prepared. The appraisal came in 30K plus below the value of the contract. And guess who freaked out? The listing side, not the buyer side, because the buyers already knew what we were going to be faced with. When we came time for appraisal, I told them, I said, hey, listen, I estimated 25. I said, hey, listen, I think the appraisal is going to come in maybe 25K below. But let's see. I already let the seller know that you guys don't have money to pay above appraised value and that if the appraisal comes in low, we are expecting for her to decrease the price. That conversation had already been had. When that appraisal came in low, the seller was like, I can't believe my appraisal is low. Now, granted, I let the listing agent know that the appraisal was going to be low, but I don't know if that conversation was had on the opposite side. I cannot speak for it. However, I had to prepare my client. So what I want for you to do when you're inside of these transactions, make sure you make yourself knowledgeable. Make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure that you research and whatever you find, make sure that you communicate it with your client, whether you're representing the seller or you're representing the buyer, make sure you communicate it with them so that way they know what to expect. The last thing that you wanna to do to your client is give them a surprise mid transactions because honestly, their emotions cannot handle it. If they're buying a house or selling a house, either way, their emotions are high and it's up to you to emotionally control that deal. So that's my tip for you guys today as realtors. I hope that this was very helpful. If you're looking for some one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm your girl. Make sure you reach out to me and I'll see you guys on the next video. Be sure to subscribe. See y'all.